Okay, turning it on. Okay, now we'll let it heat up for a little bit, and then we'll turn it off and see if the 1500 milliwatt receiver does the same thing. I'm sorry, the 1500 milliwatt uh, transmitter. Okay, so, oop, that's me standing in front of the receiver. Okay, let me turn this off and back on again. Off. Comes right back up. We'll leave it on to warm up a little bit more. See what happens in uh, five more minutes. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Uh, let's try to shut it off and restart it and see if the video comes back on the 1500 milliwatt transmitter, uh, letting it warm up. Here it goes. Powered it off. Wait a second or two. And let me power it back on. I got a perfect image. So this, um, the 1500 milliwatt transmitter is not behaving the same as the 800 that I had uh, under the same conditions. Um, the 800 milliwatt transmitter would uh, would not uh, power back up after it was warmed up. It was almost as if it uh, uh, the frequency had drifted and the receiver would not pick it up after you cycle power to the uh, transmitter. So I think that's, uh, I would say that's conclusive that there's something wrong with this 800 milliwatt transmitter compared to uh, one of the ones that works fine. I uh, just received this 1500 from ReadyMade. Welcome to Tyrannus. Okay, we're gonna test the 800 milliwatt transmitter again just to let it warm up. And uh, lights on, lights off, and verify that it uh, when it heats up, it does die. So, we're gonna let it warm up for a few minutes, and then we'll try to cycle power, see if we can uh, duplicate what happened last night. All right, so it's been five minutes or so, I'm letting it warm up. Let's uh, cycle power, see what it does. This is the 800 milliwatt. Power off. Back on. Oh, no image. So after only five minutes of warm up, um, we lose image completely. The receiver will not pick it up. Let me try to cycle power to the receiver, see if that does anything. No, nah, that doesn't help either. So, I'm going to turn this off. Actually, first of all, I'm going to measure the case temperature. Turn it off. We're at about 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too hot. Pretty warm, but not bad. The, uh, 1500 milliwatt transmitter got up to about 125 so it makes sense it's uh, dissipating a little bit more power so we're going to leave this off for five minutes to cool down um, we'll come back try to cycle power back on again and see if it comes back up all right so it's been about five minutes let's check the temperature before we start Okay, we're down to about 82 degrees Fahrenheit, if you can see that. So it's cooled down pretty much to the eh, temperature it would be outside. Oops, there's my timer going off. Set this back up here. And we'll turn the power back on and see if we get an image. Ah, there it is. Works fine. So, again, uh, we just proved again that once it warms up, 
and you cycle power if power is interrupted for any reason uh, it will not um, come back up on the correct frequency it seems to drift um, off the band and uh, you're not able to receive the signal when that's not the case with the 1500 milliwatt which actually runs a bit hotter um, it's more powered being dissipated so that's probably why but it runs hotter and uh, it does not drift the same way as this 800 does so I truly believe that this 800 milliwatt um, 1.3 gigahertz transmitter uh, is defective or of a poor design um, either one I really don't trust it if there should be any glitch and power distribution to it uh, it will not reliably come back online 